How to Wipe Cache Partition on Galaxy Note 5 During the first boot up, just after you bought the phone, the system will create files from each app and service. These files will be stored in a certain directory only the system could access, the directory is called cache partition. Over time, some of the files get corrupted especially during updates. If the new system tries to use them, conflicts may occur. Hence, you need to delete the obsolete files so that the new system will create new ones but since you don't have access to those files, you need to use the procedure that Android developers set up for your wipe cache partition via recovery mode. So, you need to boot the phone up in recovery mode first before you can wipe the cache partition. Here's how. Turn off your Samsung Galaxy Note 5 completely. Press and hold the volume up and the home buttons first, and then press and hold the power key. Keep the three buttons pressed and when Samsung Galaxy Note 5 shows, release the power key but continue holding the other two. Once the Android logo shows, release both the volume up and home buttons. The notice installing system update will show on the screen for 30 to 60 seconds before the Android system recovery screen is shown with its options. Use the volume down key to highlight the option wipe cache partition and press the power key to select it. When the process is complete, use the volume down key to highlight the option reboot system mount and hit the power key to restart the phone. The reboot may take a little longer to complete but don't worry and wait for the device to become active. Among the issues that may be fixed by this procedure are Fane got stuck in the logo during boot up Device entered the boot loop or can't boot up successfully Phone randomly reboots after an update Device can't get out of safe mode Phone always freezes, lags, or becomes unresponsive from time to time Thanks a lot for watching don't forget to stay tuned to our channel for more tips and tricks.